We're excited for Legends of Tomorrow, and you should be too. Today we're going to be talking about Rip Hunter, because he has appeared in the trailer. Now as we saw in the trailer, Rip Hunter is indeed a time traveler. He was just an ordinary man who used his time sphere to travel through time with his friend, girlfriend, and her brother. They ended up traveling to the dawn of time where they found a mysterious yellow pyramid that aged them all and sent them back to the present. After returning, Hunter got recruited to a team known as the Forgotten Heroes by Immortal Man. The Forgotten Heroes ended up destroying the mysterious pyramids and stopped an alien invasion. Afterwards, the group stayed together until the Immortal Man ended up getting killed during the Crisis on Infinite Earths. After this event, Rip Hunter helped the heroes of the multiverse face off against the Anti-Monitor. The battle that took place destroyed the entire multiverse and created a new Earth. Hunter then teamed up with Adam Strange and Captain Comet to defeat the Anti-Monitor once and for all. Brainiac then helped them travel to Apocalypse so Hunter and his team could help Superman and his team destroy the Anti-Monitor once and for all. After the events with the Anti-Monitor and the effects of the Crisis took place, Hunter was now a man out of his time and had no home. No one even remembered he existed. He had also been replaced by a post-crisis doppelganger, making his storyline a tad more confusing than some. First, we'll talk about pre-crisis Rip Hunter after the events with the Anti-Monitor. He was determined to find a way back to the alternate realities that he was a part of. Constantly traveling back and forth in time gained the attention of the Linear Men. They are a team of time cops who are in charge of preserving the integrity of the time stream. They were impressed with Rip Hunter and recruited him to join them. Now having bionic implants, he was able to better handle the stress of time travel. And while it appeared he was helping the Linear Men interfere with the time stream, he was in fact only interfering when he was needed to preserve the time stream. He later ended up defying the Linear Men and joined forces with Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman to help defeat a time-traveling villain known as Gog. With this, he finally achieved what he was after and broke down the barrier to hypertime. Hypertime being the place where all timelines that ever existed still exist. Unfortunately for him, it was a short-lived victory and he ended up being destroyed along with the Linear Men. Their consciousnesses were preserved and they made new bodies for themselves to get their revenge. The experience had left them insane and they ended up disbanding. With that, the Linear Men and Hunter vanished. Now on to post-crisis Rip Hunter. Rip Hunter was in fact not his real name and it was an alias that he used. He was a time traveler so he feared someone might find out who he really was and use that against him by going back in time and killing him as a child or either of his parents. So he decided to go by the name Rip Hunter. In the post-crisis universe, this Rip Hunter is the inventor of time traveling technology. He ends up finding clues that the Illuminati are trying to get rid of him when they try to kill him by blowing up his laboratory. He ends up fighting them throughout time with heroes such as Booster Gold and Animal Man until he gets stranded in the prehistoric past. Eventually, he ended up returning to the present with no solid reason as to how it happened, but he had to protect Earth's heroes from time-traveling villains, like the time he took the Justice Society back in time to fight Per Degaton. Once we get to the 52 event, we see Rip trying to create a machine that will help fix time. He was working with Supernova, who is also known as Booster Gold, and when Skeets attacks the city of Kandor, where Rip has been active, Supernova changed back into Booster Gold in order to attack Skeets until Rip could teleport everyone away. Rip ended up using Skeet's shell and Blue Beetle's scarab to trap Mr. Mind and hurled it into the time stream, saving the 52 universes. He's appeared multiple times since then. His biggest appearance was in the Booster Gold series where we found out that Booster Gold is actually the father of Rip Hunter. It was later revealed that Hunter was sent there by a future Booster Gold to help shape his younger counterpart into the hero he was destined to become. After all that, he worked with Booster Gold, Superman, and Hal Jordan, and when the world thought Batman was dead after the final Crisis event, Rip Hunter knew the truth and returned to help Batman who was stuck in a time stream. So as you can see, Rip Hunter is just a time traveler without any special powers or abilities. While he is involved in quite a bit of DC's history, he is the ultimate background character as his purpose is to ensure that the time stream stays on course. 
Now that's the type of thankless job you just don't learn much about, and because of this we haven't seen much of him until his recent appearance in the Legends of Tomorrow trailer. He already is a tad different being from London instead of America, but it seems he will be helping the team travel through time to stop Vandal Savage. With the trailer, it seems like Rip Hunter could be a key member of the show. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments down below. I'm Dan with CTV, and I'll see you guys next time, right here.